got the old cold start going on the Cummins. Bet you ain't ever heard a run like that. Frost on the handle. She's warming herself up. Defrosting the windshield. It's frozen solid. Let's go on. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know really what time it is. I didn't look before I started this video. But uh, this is coming to you 100% natural right now. It's October 6th. It's Saturday. And um, I got up about five this morning and I was ready for action. I knew I was gonna kill because I took my crossbow with me. And uh, I just let one fly. I've been in the blind for about 30 minutes, but uh, I heard her kind of breathing hard and I saw her fall on the field. So I know she's down. And uh, this is a new broadhead I'm trying out. And uh, I want y'all to see what I see when I first look at uh, what blood trail it left. So I was sitting in there, feeder's fairly close. Shot her right under the feeder and she took off directly to the right and then went through the field that way. There's about 10 of them. Oh, there's an arrow right there. I didn't know if she kept it in her and it went through or what. Those are white fletchings. They're pink now. That's pretty good. Broadhead did deploy. It's a three inch cut. Let's see what kind of blood we get here. Oh, yeah. Good hit, boys. That's a good hit. I'm gonna leave the arrow here for a marker where the hit was. And uh, you see the disturbed leaf, so I'm thinking she went this way. She went pretty much this way, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, right there, boys. Right there, oh, lots of blood. Lots of it. More, some more blood here. Sprayed all over this bush, she dripped right through here. More right here. And um, as you can see, I'm not but five yards from the feeder. And she's already bleeding like freaking a Gatorade with the lid off. And you're shaking it upside down. She ran through here. There's no need to blood trailer. I can see her from here. Right there, boys. Here we go, boys. God dang. Look at that. Son of a gun. <laughs>